Hello and welcome to Art 114. My name is Dr. Robert Mayhew and I'll be your instructor this term uh, at Wake Tech. Um, this course, 114, uh, deals with cultures such as the prehistoric era cave paintings uh, all the way through ancient Egypt, ancient Rome, the ancient Middle East, uh, Greece, uh, and, the, and medieval Europe. I'm standing here in the North Carolina Museum of Art, uh, specifically in the Egyptian section. Um, and I brought you in here to uh, talk about this piece very briefly, because this piece um, relates a lot to the kind of thinking we'll need to do in this course. Um, 114 asks that you remember uh, and understand um, specific works of art, the cultures that produce them, and what works of art reveal about the thinking and the everyday lives of the people that produce them. And many of these are thousands of years old. This object behind me is instantly recognizable as an Egyptian work of art because of the hieroglyphics. And anyone without any knowledge of Egyptian art will probably be able to recognize that. But it takes a little closer look to understand exactly what this object shows. This is called the false door of Fefi, and it's about 4,000 years old. That's old. Now, if you look at it, you see a lot of hieroglyphics. But you also see on the exterior that it has been carved away from some other place. Well, it's Egyptian. It's here in Raleigh, North Carolina. It's been brought over around the world to teach us something. Now, this is called a false door. That's a little bizarre, isn't it? A door is meant to be opened. Well, this door was meant to be permanently sealed. And, in, and through this door, uh, people were not meant to enter, but souls were. The Egyptians believed that when the mummy was sealed inside its tomb, it would remain there together. But the soul of that person would be able to pass through uh, this solid rock because it's a soul. Now, that's something that I understand about this piece, but it's not immediately apparent unless you read hieroglyphics. And I don't know about you, but hieroglyphics are not something I can read very well. Um, and in this course, uh, it takes a little digging to really get into uh, the material. Um, and I'd like you to consider uh, making that extra effort to thinking about times, places, cultures that are very different from our own. Um, and, but that's the real reward of this course, is um, learning how to appreciate and understand artworks and the cultures that produce them. Because oftentimes they're way out of their original context. The ancient Egyptians weren't thinking, someday this is going to be in a building in Wake County, North Carolina. It had very different purposes. And that's kind of the thinking and the exploration we're going to be doing this term. So that's just a taste of things to come. I'm glad you've signed up for this course. I love teaching this course. Let's have a great semester.